is the other question around what has been the top habit or area for someone to work to improve on for good time management or productivity after switching to remote? Um, let's see here. So I would say number one is establishing structure. So deciding when you're going to start work, when you'd like to end work. Yes, you know, you might stop to pick up your kids or you might put in a few hours later. But even if you're putting a few hours later in the evening, I always recommend my clients structure it. So they say, OK, yes, I'm going to get up back on my computer later, but it's going to be from eight to nine o'clock. And I'm working on this one report um, that's very clear. It makes it not stressful versus if you just say, oh, yeah, sometime after dinner, I'm going to get some more work done. Then all evening you're thinking about it. You probably don't get on your computer till 10 and then you stay up till late and you probably do some things that aren't even important and it's just a hot mess. So um, number one, I would say is structure. Number two, I would say is focus and eliminating distraction. So figuring out where in your home you can be um, or whatever, wherever you're working remotely so that you are shutting out distraction from like personal activities that need to get done, um, shutting out distraction from, you know, your phone or different things on your computer, any of that. So that's like another really critical thing. It is important in the office, but even more important outside of the office because you have lower accountability. Um, and then the third thing in terms of time management and productivity with being remote is just learning how to reach out to colleagues and communicate when you're remote. Because what I found was that um, some people who would have easily just turned to the colleague next to them or saw someone in the hallway or stopped by their boss's desk when they were all in person, once they were remote, they would just be stuck for hours, not sure what to do. And it would take them a lot more time to be like, oh, yeah, I should reach out to my boss or I should reach out to this colleague. So you have to learn, like, when do I reach out? How do I reach out? How can I do that and be effective even when I'm not seeing this person face to face? 